This is a short descriptive video of a Copal flip day date clock, flip clock, um, aka the model uh, Copal model 602. Um, in my book, also known as this particular clock, is that uh, is the Copal clock that never was, um, because this one is finished in a black finish, and it was never officially sold, at least not to my knowledge. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Was never sold in a um, um, plain black finish um, because the black one was intended to have a wood grain which one this originally had just I removed the wood grain with my magic hands well I mean I, I didn't I use it was kind of yeah you know did I use magic not really I used brake fluid which is um, sort of aggressive but not too aggressive to damage the plastic but aggressive enough to um, uh, remove the wood grain um, but don't fool yourself it's not a 30 minute job it literally literally took me several hours of polishing 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 and more polishing to uh, completely remove the wood grain um, the result is there though um, I removed the wood grain then polished up uh, the surface and it's now a black on black on black clock meaning that it has a black housing a black faceplate and black flaps and it looks drop dead gorgeous uh, besides the fact that it's very rare because I've never seen one of these other than you know someone that would go through the trouble of doing this um, even though as much as wood grain is um, uh, of the era 1960s 1970s you know, early 1980s maybe still a bit um, nothing wrong with it uh, just not a super big fan of it um, some some clocks look really, look really nice in a wood grain finish, uh, so I'm absolutely okay with that. The 602 in a wood grain finish, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a super nice clock, but I'm just not a big fan of the wood grain, as I said. Um, so I'm gonna be doing most of the ones that I will be putting up for sale in my shop in black. Um, having said that, um, this clock was fully taken apart. The glass was cleaned and polished up on the inside and the outside. Um, this is an English version, so it has the English um, days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc, etc, and so forth and so on. Um, it is a 24 hour clock, 220 volts, 50 hertz, so for use in Europe or in Australia or anywhere else where you have 220 volts, 50 hertz readily available. Uh, uh, be it from your outlet in the wall, be it from an uh, adapter converter. You can use it in the US if you want, you need an expensive converter for that. The clock is in a really nice used condition and um, as you could see when I turn it around on the back there is my um, instruction card. Um, I copied that from the original and had it printed. Um, if you're interested shoot me a message. I do sell these and um, the holes are pre-cut so basically all you need to do is um, push it on, slide it on, whatever you want to call it. New cable, new plug. What I did do, another conversion, let's say I added an extra light for the day date function so it has two lights, one for the clock, one for the day date function. The motor was cleaned and lubricated, uh, the lights of course are new, new cable, new plug and um, that's it will be for sale in my shop and um, don't wait too long if you're interested so I don't see too many of these going around in a black on black on black version any questions let me know thank you for watching